Hello, I'm Josh and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about English expressions to describe people. Let's get started. Life of the party. Life of the party means someone extremely outgoing and energetic in a social setting. Someone who is the life of the party is a lot of fun to be around. They have a lot of energy, they are friendly, and make everything more exciting around them. Example, his funny jokes made him the life of the party. Down to earth. Down to earth means someone who is modest and humble. A down to earth person is usually friendly and relatable. They are approachable and easy to get along with. Example, everyone got along with her because she was down to earth. Being down to earth is a good quality to have. Two-faced. Two-faced means a dishonest person who acts in a devious way. A two-faced person might be nice to your face but then talk badly about you behind your back. Basically, a two-faced person has two faces. One face appears to be friendly and honest, but the other face acts differently and cannot be trusted. Example, she was surprised to find out her friend was two-faced by spreading rumors behind her back. Head in the clouds. Head in the clouds means oblivious or unaware of something. When someone has their head in the clouds, they are clueless. They are unrealistic and not aware of what is going on. Example, the student had his head in the clouds thinking he could pass the test without studying. Underdog. Underdog is someone with little chance of winning. The odds are usually stacked against the underdog. This expression is used a lot in sports. Example, the crowd was surprised when the underdog defeated the championship team. Here, people usually expect the underdog to lose, but sometimes the underdog defies the odds and wins. Let's recap what we learned today. She always felt like the underdog and was never invited to parties even though she was down to earth. It did not help that she had her head in the clouds and did not realize her best friend was two-faced. However, after taking a break from hanging out with her friend, she realized she could make new friends and soon became the life of the party wherever she went. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I encourage you to use the vocabulary you learned today the next time you practice your English speaking or writing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning English. And let me know in the comments below what vocabulary word you like best.